lights just went out, no electricity. Time to get the generator. Battery's down to 6%, that's not good. That's when it shuts off. Helps to have some battery operated Christmas lights that are on timers. But, and it lights up pretty well. But these are on timers and they last about six hours and then they shut off just for such emergencies. And after these ones shut off, I've got other string or on this side that light up right here for the rest of the night because it's pitch, pitch black in here, pitch black. And I don't like working in the dark because then you can't see what you're doing half the time. I always carry a flashlight in my mouth so I can see where I'm walking and talking to try to get this thing so the air is all on. Okay, see if we get lights in the cabin. I have the power hooked up in from the generator going in so it's not on the battery because it actually just wore out. So uh, let's give her a shot. Choke on, gas on. Rock and roll. Yeah. Oh yeah. And that's how it's done. Oh, and look at that. Lights in the cabin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I like to see. I like it when things Looks like I'm smoking a, a, a flashlight. So much fun, huh? And for all intents and purposes, checking the temperature, about 10 below zero right now. Just double check. What I generally do is run a generator for about eight hours, which will charge this battery and inverter all the way back up to 100%. And then I'll run this through the rest of the night and early in the morning so I don't have to go in and out and get the generator as often. It's a real simple process and I've done it for uh, going on a couple decades basically. So uh, yeah, it's the way it is out here. It's not too bad and it could be a lot worse. Lights on in the cabin. I like that stuff. Cool. Okay, signing out. Have a good night.